whether you are even a small startup in a small town in the United States, you have to think about what the competition out there is. And the competition is not just going to come from, you know, the next town or the company down the road. It's going to come globally. We know China is slowing down. The return it's very important whether you're doing marketing or finance, whether you're doing economics or operations, you're thinking about how to run UPS in Mexico. You need to really understand the environment. With all of these apps and digital technologies, you really are, no matter what you do, competing at a global stage. It's not just any type of investment in a The way that this course is structured is that because we're studying countries that are evolving very fast, we even have crises happening as I'm teaching the course. There is no textbook for it, so we draw on a wide variety of materials that are basically very current. It's data-based, so we do look at a lot of facts, and I show the students how to analyze the data. I give them the framework, so there's a little bit of a lecturing, a little bit of sort of setting the stage, and then the students take that framework and take the instructions and apply it to the country, industry, and firm that they're studying. It builds up into one final project as we do sort of the, the bits of it during the six-week course. So they not only learn about the country that they have chosen, but they learn about all of the other countries that their classmates have chosen as well. So I think it's for everyone, everyone interested in learning about how the global stage of competition and market works.